bag has so storage. Most computers have storage to save entire programs and data. You can add more apps or data only if you have enough storage. Right. An SD card allows you to store information away from the device. A tablet has a limited storage. Millie's tablet says there's no enough there's not enough room to install a new app. What could Millie ask a grown up to do? Tick all the correct options to try. Right. So she doesn't know what to do. Her parents don't know what to do, but they could try the strap. Do you think deleting some photos will be one? Put in the comments below which ones do you think? Uh, I'll, I'll number them one, two, three, and four. I'll go and check in the comments section down below to see if you've got the correct answers. Right, deleting, I'll give you five seconds to pause the video and write down in the comments. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Right, first one is correct. Second one, so it's this one, third one. And that's it, because... Why these two only and not these? Because tell the tablet to install the new app anyway, it could um, unleash a virus or switch, in, switch it off and on again. It's not going to do anything, it's just going to switch it on and off. Right, next. Power and batteries. Computers need electrical power to work. Some need to be plugged into a wall socket. Some have a rechargeable battery inside them. The green battery is fully charged at 100%. Right, so 25, 50, 75, 100%. Right. In which order would you charge these batteries? Right answer here. Right. Right. So, you have to say B and C, D. Uh, write down in the comments, three, two, one. Okay, first one is, because we've already got A, so we can forget about that. Right, it's C, because that's third, 75%, B, that's 50%, and D, 25%. Right. Some tiny computers inside toys and gadgets use batteries, which you need to change when you when they run out. Right, well done us. Right, the next page. This page is one of my favourites. Yep, screens and pixels. A computer screen is made up of lots of tiny squares called pixels. Can you copy the pixel art into this simple grid? Right, so, four, four at the top, so we want to copy one, two, three, four at the top, and one going diagonal on each side, just like that, and then four at the bottom. Right, now we want eyes, so one is going to be here, one is going to be here, and we want a mouth, so that's, right, so this is the tricky bit, so you want to leave one there, one there, and two there. That should become a happy face. Right, now. This one's one of my favourites. Right, so we're going to colour in the first square, the middle one. Right, we're going to go. And then once we progress, we're going to get taller as well. So we want to do that as well. Right. Next, as you can see, 
10 ppi or 10 pixel per inch 20 and 40 here we've got 11 by 11 uh, a grid of 11 by 11 and we're gonna just try our best to get it as close to a circle as we can so you could start like i've started and then gradually get better and then if uh, on creative mode and if you fly up you can you can see like a proper good circle it's it's really amazing well, as you can see it's still like the 10 ppr one but if we look carefully at the 20 ppi you can see it's got like four by four and three by three so why don't we do that right we'll go from three like that three at the bottom three at the sides and then should start becoming a circle as we gradually colour it in and now and then we're gonna go to four gradually gradually starting to become a circle as you can see like the 20 ppi one or the 20 pixel per inch if you forgot right look at that guys we're doing a good job here okay so we've actually left three and five that is a big circle no one here 20 ppi but about hmm, 11 ppi or something right let's read this first now create your own pixel art in this grid we've made a circle and that's fine you can do really whatever you want i chose the circle because it's more not complex but like it comes together like we started with this didn't we we started and then we gradually go on to a big circle right that's so we're gonna move on to this one. How does a touch screen work? Touch screens work because people conduct electricity. Yes. You are conductive. See, this finger is conductive. Right. A touch screen has a grid of wires <coughs> inside it. So it can work out where the changes happen. <clears throat> Just touch screen can spot a tap, swipe or pinch from you by the electrical charges. Draw straight lines between each number and letter to finish this touch screen grid. Find and make a dot at these places intersections on your grid to pop six balloons right. A one's done for us, so let's just do that. A one, right? C two, right? C two. We'll be using top. I usually use the top and left side, but you can use the bottom and the right side. You only really need one, but they put. Uh, all four sides on so that really doesn't matter as long as you can read it right so b four is all the way here so let's draw a line Pshhh. right e3 one two three Right, so D one, this one's an easy. You guys don't really have to do it this way, but uh, you could go on the other side. But I'm doing it this way because it's much easier for me. Right, A 
two. And that's it for today guys, well done. So, we finished, well done. Uh, well, this is the end of the video then. We'll stop and pause the video here. And guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, smash that like button. And guys, Make that subscribe button as grey as possible and make that notification bell ring all the time so you always get notified for a new uploaded video. Right, this is the end so stay tuned for my other videos. We nearly finished this book. We've got a few more pages and we're finished. Bye, see you guys.